Afrofuturism is useful as a term to describe alternate and imagined black presence and, and realities and alternate realities, whether that's in science fiction, music, literature, poetry, the arts. One of the really key through lines is the possibility of black people imagining ourselves in a future where we have not been imagined. It's an opportunity to address um, traumatic histories, pasts of slavery and oppression, and deal with them in creative, thoughtful, and unusual ways. It offers an opportunity to explode the boundaries of realism and drudgery, to deal with both joyous futures, but also to tackle very real social issues. As a programmer, I first got involved in, in the idea of Afrofuturism on film uh, as part of uh, the British Film Institute's Days of Fear and Wonder series. And I thought it would be really interesting to specifically look at the black experience in science fiction because black experience in sci-fi is something that has been dramatically underserved. The term itself was originated by a white critic called Mark Derry in his 1994 essay, Black to the Future, in which he speaks to um, black science fiction authors like Samuel R. Delaney and the cultural critics Tricia Rose and Greg Tate to kind of speak to themes of technological advancement, techno-culture, alternate pasts and futures in black literature. Most science fiction tales dramatically deal with how the individual is going to contend with these alienating, dislocating um, societies and circumstances. And that pretty much sums up the mass experience of black people, you know, within um, the post-slavery 20th century. <laughs> 